Uh, hi everyone, uh, and today we would like to answer a very simple question. What is a three phase power system? So if we happen to go in a highway or even inside the city, you might have noticed that there are towers and these towers, they have three or six or nine conductors. Now, when you look to this tower here, we have one, two, three, one, two, three. And this, what we call is a double circuit. Actually, these are two th circuits and each one is a three phase. So this is one, two, three, this is one phase. And here we have the other phase. This In this tower, we have one phase and so on and so and so forth. So what is this three phase system? Uh, what is the relationship between the voltages in these three systems? How we connect them? So these are very basic fundamental questions. I will try to uh, to answer. To start with, we are familiar with a single phase system. Now, a single phase system, you have a source AC system, and you have a load connected to that system. Now, between the source and the load, you could have also a transmission line with certain impedance. So there could be something in, in the middle between the two that has certain impedance as, as well. So we know how to handle this uh, single phase circuit. Now, what is a three-phase system? In a very simple language, it's basically you are cascading three single-phase circuits. So we have this first circuit. So it will go all over the way here. So this is one circuit. Then we'll have another circuit but they are sharing the same return path, which is this return path in the single phase circuit. They are sharing the same return path. And finally, this is the uh, last last uh, circuit or the last, we call it phase, also sharing the same, the same return path. The question is, what is the relationship between these voltages and these impedances? Now, for the voltages, they have the same frequency. So each supply will have exactly the same frequency. Now, here in North America, we have 60 hertz. Uh, and in Brazil, in Saudi Arabia, in Japan, same thing. The rest of the world is 50 hertz. Also, they have the same RMS value. So the magnitude of each voltage is exactly the same. And this is, of course, in a balanced, in a balanced system or an ideal system. However, the only difference is that there is a phase shift 120 degree between each phase. So they are not in phase. There is 120 phase shift between these three voltages. So they have the same magnitude, same frequency, but there is 120 phase shift. The question is why we have this 120 phase shift, how we can get that. Now, if we look to a very simple schematic of a generator where you have the stator. Now, this is just a cross sectional area and you can think of it that this stator is extended in, in, into the computer. And we have a rotor. Now we have three coils so that we can get the three phase voltage, not just one coil, but the three coils. We have A, A prime, B, B prime, and C, C prime. And then we have the rotor here, rotates around, and something from the basic uh, understanding of magnetism. Now, whenever we have a magnet, permanent or, not, or electrical, rotates, in a closed circuit, then you will induce a voltage. So when this rotor starts to rotate, you will induce a voltage in the different phases. Now, because these phases are, look here, each one is 120 degree mechanically displaced between each other, then you will have the voltages induced with this 120 degree. So as this start to rotate, 
here then you will have here the maximum voltage at phase c c prime then it would reach b b prime c and a a prime and so on and so forth and we look here you see that the voltages have the same magnitude and the same frequency but this there is the 120 degree phase shift between between them so this is a very simple language how we can get these voltages with 120 degree phase shift now how we connect the generators and the loads there are two different types of connection the first thing connection we call it the y connection sometimes we call it the star connection so we connect either the source or the load with this how we do that so we will have here the voltage source as a star or as a y and why it's called a star or a y because it looks like a star and, and a y so you have here the voltage let's say it is 110 volt if it is this is angle zero this is 110 angle of minus 120 110 angle of plus one 120 and the load as well can be connected in the same type of connection as Y connection. So these are three impedance. Now each impedance will have exactly the same value. In a balanced three phase system, the impedance of each phase will have exactly the same value. So this is the first type of connection. The second one we will have is the delta connection. Okay, in the delta, the supply will be plus minus so why it's called delta again because it is looks like a delta as simple as that so this is the three the three phase and the load as well will be connected in delta as well so we will have here again each load will have exactly the same the same value z Okay, so now how we do the connection, we have definitely now four different possibilities. Either you connect the star, star, meaning that the supply is a star and the load is a star, or star, delta, or delta, star, or delta, delta. These are the four different types of connections that you could have them in the three phase system so this is in very simple language what is the three phase system how we can get the three phase system with the 120 phase shift in the power supplies and what are the three diff the, the two different connections that we could have them in the in the three phase system